Hey, what up, legends? How's it going? Qin Bacon here. Today, for the deck showcase, I got for you guys something pretty cool. It, of course, is a good old hunter deck. And what better than Maccabi's mid range hunter to showcase the strength of the hunter? And so, this deck is a multiple legend deck. And what I mean by that is that not only Maccabi's managed to get legend with this very deck, but a few of the people that uh, made the deck. Uh, seeing it on Heartpawn actually posted in the comment uh, proof of them getting to legend with it as well so I'm pretty sure since it's gained so much momentum over the uh, past couple of days that it is quite fantastic so I'm gonna give it a shot uh, here it is I'm gonna put a link to it in the description of course and I'll, I would like for you to try it out because pretty sure you can enjoy it Apart from that, um, I do want to mention that um, we did reach out uh, 3,500 subs, so I want to thank everyone for that. There will be something pretty special on stream tomorrow, so if you want to uh, come on there uh, to celebrate for the occasion, and that'd be pretty cool. I'll put the link to it in the description as well. But for now, let's get to playing. So... Maccabi's Midrange Hunter. I'm pretty sure it's one of the strongest uh, decks in the meta right now, accompanied with Burn Mage and um, Midrange Paladin. Those decks are all midrange in their own class, and it's pretty interesting to see what they have to offer. Um, not gonna lie, against Priest, though, it could be difficult. Um, I mean, they have heals, they have card draw, and we don't, and unless we take control of the board and they don't get, um, they don't get board clears and everything, uh, you know, it's, it's pretty hard. And I mean, I'm not too sure what to do with Snapjaw without, uh, without the Houndmaster behind, but, you know, I won't hate. I'd like a 2-drop, though, that'd be pretty sweet. He's playing, he's playing dragons. That's gonna be, that's gonna be difficult. Um, but I've got a two drop. I'm gonna trade that in to turn this into a four three. Um, it's not great, but it's definitely on the board right now, and that's something I need. And you know what? That's pretty. That's good enough. Um, no, I mean I want to play this. I want to play Eagle Horn Bow so I can kill his little dragon dude. Uh, go for four damage. That's that's what I'm looking for here. Um, depending on what he plays next turn, if I get another two drop, I could play uh, Razor Maw. Never mind. I was gonna say I could play Razor Maw, but he trades two things. I was certainly not expecting him to have a Blue Guild Warrior here, so that's quite unfortunate. But you know, I can't really do much about that one. But we could double, um, we could double adapt this this pretty turtle. That could be interesting. And giving in three attack would be pretty good. Uh, let me do that here. Ah, there we go. Three attack, and let's see what else. Uh, three attack and three health. There, it's a five ten. Five ten turtle. Yeah, I won't play the alley cat just in case he has some clear, so that way I can play uh, nesting rock next turn. Oof, that deadly shot is quite fantastic here. Let's go ahead and deadly shot, hair power, and attack his face for a ton of damage. That poor Finja, he got completely wrecked. I feel bad. Murloc Priest. That's interesting. He's probably playing like a Water Priest type deal or something. I don't know. It is finished. You win. Yeah, that's what I would do as well. <laughs> Your main card of the deck is gone. You've got a, you know, you get a bunch of minions on the other side, and you're at super low health. Just, just go. Just, just go. You, you don't need to be there anymore. Let me play another one here. That was pretty short. But yeah, I mean, when I mean when I mean it's mid range, it's mid range, right? You have some creatures, you can, you know, you have some decent sized creatures. You have a good curve. You can buff your creatures to make them more, uh, you know, more difficult to 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 remove and and 
deal extra damage with them and everything. So yeah, I mean, it's it's pretty decent. Not gonna lie, it's pretty decent. And when I say decent, everyone of, on my channel knows. When I say decent, I mean it's, it's actually really good. I just don't say it, because I'm a weirdo, but it's pretty good. Alright. So yeah, actually, Maccabi has done a great job with this deck so far. I mean, from what I've seen, it's excellent on the ladder. And also, my eye is really itchy. Oof. I don't like this. I really don't like this. Gonna have to... Oh, boy. This is gonna be bad. Eh, carry and grab is not that bad. I'm gonna have to play some things here, and I do not want to do that. I kinda wish I had Alligant, but... Because here, he could technically play a 1-drop and buff everything. And it'd be super hard for me to deal with. I mean, like, really hard. Like this? Like, what do you want me to do here? He has a 5-6 on turn 2. Like... Hi. My name is Kiwi and Bacon. I've got a bunch of tiny minions and your crab's gonna eat them all. Or he's just gonna go face, actually, I mean. Or not. He will trade. Sure. Keep doing that. I like that. Still have a 5-4, though. I mean, I could get Deadly Shot. That would be pretty good. Or not. I could not get Deadly Shot. So I'll just play Kindly Grandmother and play Alley Cats. As long as you don't have a swipe or something like that. And we should be pretty good. Because I could just play uh, Hyena soon. And, um, you know, remove this guy. Should be pretty simple. I mean, you're, you're going to go face, obviously. But still. Right. Right, right, right. Okay. Um... I'm gonna have to uh, to count on the poison on this guy um, and play a hyena here. Uh, please give me some poison. Well, I mean, yeah, poison is better. Poison is technically better because I can uh, kill the six five with it, so that's good. So let's go poison. Let's kill this. Okay, so this is now a four three. If I trade the two of these little guys in, doesn't achieve much. So I think I'll just go face. Because this would turn into a, uh, what, an 8-5? But he, w he would still be able to trade both of these into the 3-2 and the other 3-2. Or do something and kill, kill my hyena anyway. I think this is like a more annoying board. Than if I just had three minions and like a huge one. And he could just trade and I would just have, have a giant hyena. It's much harder to deal with for him. Alright, there you go. See? That's what I'm talking about. And then I could just play the nesting rock. And he's gonna go, he's gonna go through a huge taunt. Which is fine with me. I do not mind. So I'll just trade one here. And then keep the other guys. So that way I could just push for more damage. He has to come up with 4 damage out of nowhere to kill the rock. So if he had a swipe, he would have played it already. Uh, so he would have to top deck it. And I'm not going to play around the top deck swipe. I mean, I should, but... It's not going to happen. Okay, so he takes another 4 damage. And that's fine by me. I can just play my Hyena now. I've got two Houndmasters, so that's going to be really hard for him to deal with. So we came back and we got the board uh, from him, which is perfect. So that poison, that poison adapt was the key here. <laughs> that was quite fantastic. I don't mind too much here, buddy. Um, I've got two Houndmasters, so like, what do you want? What do you want to do here? You're just going to take eight damage. There you go. All right, cool. Again, quite simple. It's a really good deck. I'm not gonna lie; those were two super easy games. I mean, I got scared in the in the early game uh, of the second game because uh, 
of his big crab, but I mean, it's just one big minion. If I have like a spread out board and he doesn't he doesn't clear it, it's going to be super difficult for him to do so. If your opponent has like giant taunts and everything like that, you got kill commands, if you got deadly shot and everything, pretty sure this uh this deck will come out as the best hunter deck so far uh this expansion so at least in my opinion um so give it a shot hopefully it works well for you uh high mains it's almost legendary st uh, status by now uh it's you know it's a rare and it's extremely it's like the best hunter card um You've got your rock, which is also fantastic with the little alley cats and all. Uh, I don't know. I really like this. So give this deck a shot. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe, of course, because I make videos like these every day. And apart from that, of course, I hope to see you guys in the next one. Thanks a lot.